Uh, hello, welcome. This is Nate. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today I've got this really nice two bedroom, two bath home made by Palm Harbor Homes. They are, so Palm Harbor Homes is uh, in Oregon. We are currently at Majestic Homes in Billings, Montana. I don't know if you can see this very well. Here we go. So I really like this uh, siding they used on it. Kind of that dark, almost burnt wood look. Mind you, this is a uh, a show model, hence the reason for the not quite so finished outside here. And no, re no underpinnings. This is a home that you would uh, order off of. Now this will eventually be sold. But now this is a, uh, as I said, two bedroom, two bath home. Can be optioned as a three bedroom, but it does come with an office as the two bedroom version or a small den, whichever you would like to use it as. Now, as you notice, there was a door on the, on the back side over there. There's a door right there. And we also have on this front porch, another door. So you have three ways to get into this home. So you got this really nice kind of cone shaped front. Let's see if I can try to get a good shot for you here. The sun isn't exactly cooperating very well. But you do get this nice little porch up here. So that uh, piece that's laying on the end of the porch there can go down there or you can leave it off and you use this as an entrance if you choose to. So let's go ahead and head on in. So you got this really nice front or living room I guess you could call it. You do have the fireplace right there. The reason why there was that big metal tin on the outside that said hot on it. I am assuming that that is a gas fireplace. And that was the vent for it. I don't know if you can option in a wooden, a real wood burning fireplace or not. But I really like the tray ceiling that they went with here. Now this isn't the biggest living room area. Of course this isn't the biggest home, it's kind of a smaller home. With all these windows, sometimes it makes it a little harder to get the shot. Now this is the, uh, that small den or office that you could possibly option in. I don't know, I haven't looked at the floor plans, haven't talked to them yet. So don't quote me 100%, but you could possibly make this into a third bedroom. So and I'll put uh, dimensions of this room up once I get the floor plans and actually get a chance to take a look at it. Back over here, it's going to be your dining room. Now, as you can see, this home does have, in that front where the porch is, just windows all the way across the front of the building, or your home, I should say. So there is a ton of natural light that comes in here. There is no power hooked up in this one, so... Everything you're seeing is uh, just from the light coming into the home. I really like these countertops they used and this glass backsplash that runs almost to the bottom of your cabinets there. Nope, I thought I saw some uh, under cabinet lighting there. But you got a really nice counter here that can also be used as a little bit of an island. 
You get uh, drawers above all your doors. Now, mind you, they don't have any of the handles installed yet or anything like that. So keep that in mind that this home isn't uh, quite finished yet. So we'll get you a couple of the cabinets here. Just kind of take a quick glance. And your drawers do pull way out. So there's not a ton of storage in this home, but like I said, this is a smaller home. It's only a two bedroom to start with, so keep that in mind. Still get a good sized pantry though. And that door goes back into your laundry room. We'll come around and check that out here in a minute. So you do get stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Nice to see a big window above your sink there. So this is going to be bathroom number two, so let's do the best I can here. And it's your one piece shower tub combo. So coming in, if you came in through the back door, which is where you could put your garage or whatever, you come right into your laundry room and have easy access to that second bathroom. This is your uh, washer dryer area. Just a small cabinet above here. Nice to see the uh, rod up above the dryer area though. So you can hang everything up. And there's that door going back into your kitchen. There's that office space again. This is some of the options you can get for your for your, uh, cabinets. Let's see if I can get you some of your exterior options, some of your decking options, and here's some of your flooring options. So bedroom number two is right back over here. Let's check out your closet first. Just a small little linen closet, storage closet. Now this bedroom is pretty decent size though. And I'll put a, like I said, once I get the floor plans, I'll put up the dimensions of the bedrooms like I always do for you. Just a small closet though. So really nice bedroom though. I do like the colors I used in here. Of course it's hard to get with the without any light, but the colors I used in here are really nice. They're not just your standard white. And your master bedroom. Pretty good sized bedroom here. Lots of light coming in here. I like this transom window up above your bed there. Now you've got a closet there, a closet there. So you've got plenty of closet space for your, for the adults in this room or in this home. So we'll take a look at this closet first. This is the smaller of the two closets. So this would probably be his closet. Over here would probably be her closet. 
This is the larger of the two. Now it's not quite as deep, but it does run fairly long. In your master bathroom here, you get the uh, dual sinks here. Hello, Raiden. You got the nice fixtures up above. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best in here. But I like to continue with that same color gray backsplash, the glass tile. Overall, it's a good size master bathroom though. And you've got another little linen closet over here. Now there is no tub in here. This is a smaller tile shower. I like the contained with that gray backsplash for accent in there, it really looks good. Now I don't know if you can option in a tub or not, but you'd probably lose the tile shower if you put a tub in there. But overall it's a decent sized shower. I'd be happy with it. So let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Leave me a comment down below. While you're down there, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the notification bell. I currently upload uh, videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So once again, this is Nate, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.